So tell me, Denver, do all snowy owls migrate? Yeah, uh, yeah, they probably do. Um, what we've kind of learned over the years, you know, first of all, it, you know, explorers have seen snowy owls in various areas of various okay. times, okay. indicating yeah. lots of movement. And so, um, yeah, what we know is that they probably all migrate from the breeding grounds. Okay. But they may have different strategies, you know. Okay. Males, females, young of the year sure, could have different sure. strategies. And some of the uh, satellite, you know, telemetry data indicates that females may stay up in the north. Okay. Um, and then males and some females in young of the year may okay. migrate sure. south. It appears that young in their first year do a migratory. Okay. Which isn't okay. unusual among birds, right. you know. Okay. And yeah. we're not sure about perhaps in their second year and all that stuff. So, uh, it's I think it's safe to say that they all migrate or they move from the breeding areas okay. because the breeding areas are covered snow. Sure. And it's sure. probably Makes difficult sense. to eat out in yeah. the distance. Okay. So why do some snowy owls migrate all the way to California, Florida, Texas? Yeah. Yeah. And there's there's certainly records. Those are the yeah. extreme records. Okay. Uh, but there's records in between all sure. of that stuff as sure. well. And that's just you know that's just birds in general you know right i mean yeah. they have wings that go places and i think almost every species that you can imagine yeah. has what we call maybe these vagrant or extra liminal uh records where they right. just okay. they kind of go for i mean who knows why yeah. they go that far south uh maybe they lost maybe they you know they don't know what they're doing they're in yeah. their they all yeah. tend to be birds in their first year of life you know? okay. okay so they probably haven't acquired the knowledge of the landscape sure and okay. in the migrant and they just they just show up in different areas okay okay so what do snowy owls eat on their wintering grounds? Sorry. Uh, they eat a lot of stuff. Uh, for those birds that we know that maybe stay in the Arctic, what they do mostly, I would say, is is they move out to some areas where there's open water. Oh, okay. okay. Where there's okay. polynias or leads, and polynias are just you know holes in the in the ice where there's upwellings, mm -hmm. and lots of sea ducks and alcids, which are another type of seabird will spend the winters in the Arctic okay. in these open areas and forage for food. And snowy owls have been known to kind of hang out in those areas, and they're okay. probably eating those. And there's not a lot of verification of it, but most likely that's what they're eating. They also could be scavenging. You know, they could okay, be scavenging sure, on sure. polar bear kills or something okay. like that, you know, eating seals that polar bears may have yeah. killed. Uh, and then others that, let's say, they migrate down the coastal areas, uh, and they get into coastal habitats where you could have shorebirds, sure. you could have more ducks. Okay. And, uh, and whatever, maybe there's small right. mammals along the coast and okay. all that. Okay. So they'll diversify their diet there. And then those snowy owls that maybe migrate down the central the central flyway into southern Canada, northern U.S. and those plains areas, they, they, uh, they, they could probably switch to rabbits, okay. hares, okay. Uh, voles, sure. okay. and then, of yeah. course, switching off to maybe game birds like okay. ptarmigan, okay. pheasant, things like that. Okay. So just out of curiosity, how what is the size of a snowy owl? Uh, you know, they're a pretty big bird. Uh, yeah. You know, females of... Almost every species of owl in the world, females are larger than males, which you know we yeah. don't necessarily have to get into right now. But um, let's say a, a, a good-sized female could be five pounds, six pounds wow. or so. Okay. so. Uh, male could be in that three-pound, four-pound range, sure. you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then a little bit, you know, maybe two pounds in some, and maybe you know five pounds in okay. the upper end. Yeah. So, but they're a pretty big bird with females dominant over males. Sure. Okay. Oh, size-wise, anyway. Okay. Yeah. So once um, I once read someone describe an eruption as a mega eruption. What does that mean? Yeah, that there's, there, I don't know what a mega eruption is. I thought it was a, <laughs> it was Yellowstone volcano getting ready to go off. Uh, so I'm not sure. We kind of come up with these words, mini eruption, yeah. mega eruption, yeah. you know. And there's really no definition to them. You understand sure. where people are going because oh, they're everywhere, so it must be yeah. a mega eruption. Oh, that wasn't as big as last year. That was a mini eruption, you know. Um, we just need to be careful with that. And I don't mm -hmm. know if we can really define it if we okay. say the percentage of all the birds that come are this, this, and that, therefore this is a mega run. I don't know if we can really go there other than maybe give some percentages if it's okay. even possible. Mm -hmm. well, I understand where people are going, but it just doesn't, you know, if you really think about it, yeah. it doesn't really make that much sense. Okay, okay. Um, so then are eruptions um, comparable and how do we do that? Is every large scale migration an mm -hmm. eruption? Yeah, that's, that's what's kind of gone on in recent years is every time a bunch of snowy owls migrate south, and it's an eruption. Sure. <laughs> it's yeah. you know, and, and, and then and then you're like, well, it wasn't as big as the other eruption, so then you go back course, to mini yeah, and mega yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> it would be nice if we could figure a way to quantify it, right. you know. Mm -hmm. um, but that might be very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I mean, just because you, you really never know how many are there. So sure. maybe you figure the percentage of all the birds that we know of if they're young, and then maybe you can make those comparisons among years with 
younger than you, if you know younger than you. Okay. So Makes really sense. difficult to do, but yeah. um, probably needs to be at least talked about. Okay. Makes sense.